share with you some tips on how to trace this PDF pattern in Pro3D. Then, you can save it as a project file as well as export it as a DXM and a PDF pattern so you can redo through your creation. Before I'm going to unfold these pattern pieces, I'm going to place the notches to the pattern. For example, you see right here the front seam and the back seam. So instead of label front and back, I'm going to use the notch tool to tell the pattern either it's front or back. So if I have two notches right here, that means it's the back seam. If I have one notch is right here, that means the front seam for the sleeve, okay? So first, I'm going to turn this point right here to a curve point. To do that, I'm going to come over here to this edit pattern tool, click on it, and then hover the mouse to the right, and then click on this edit pattern tool to select. After that, I'm going to click on that point right there, right click, and then come over here, convert to curve point. I'm going to do the same right here, hover the mouse over that point, and then right click, and then select convert to curve point. Okay, I'm going to do the same with this point right here. And I can also marquee select all this point right here, see right there? And then right click and then convert to curve point. Then now I can place the notches on to the sleeve, okay? So to place the notch, I'm going to come over here to this notch tool, click on it. And then I'm going to just once again hover the mouse over and right click and I'm going to mold this out of the way so you can see the line color. So this line color here is, is important. We want to place the first notch to be 6 cm. And the first notch that we are measured from is from this side seam and up toward this next seam, okay? So right now, this first notch and this first line from the side seam is yellow. I'm going to type in right there, 6 cm. By the way guys, if your clothes does not have a centimeter, you have to go in and change to centimeter unit, which I have the video links below. Come back to this yellow line right here. And as you can see right here, this yellow line appears as well. So I'm going to just press on the tab key, okay? To place that point right there and then next I'm going to come down here and click on OK all right so I just place my first notch the back side of the seam we need two notches okay the front side we only need one notch I'm going to zoom in once again and I'm going to play the second notch once again right click just hover the mouse and you see this red point dark red point up here right click okay and here's again the yellow line pop up the yellow lines mean the shorter length compared to the blue line okay so sometimes the yellow line not all the way from line one sometimes the yellow line could appear in line two it's because the shorter line it mean the color is yellow okay so the next point we want is eight centimeter okay then you can come down here and click on OK. All right, so now we have two notches from the back pattern piece and we're going to place another notch up here to the front side seam. I'm going to just pan over here to the left a little bit. I'm going to press down Command or Control plus letter F to save. Next, I'm going to place another notch right here just hover the mouse over this line right here and then right click and as you can see again the yellow lines appear and i'm going to type in six centimeter okay then i'm going to click on okay next we are going to apply the notches 
on to the front bodice and the back bodice, okay? So as you can see, right here is the back bodice, okay? So I'm going to place two notches for the back bodice. Once again, I need to turn these points into curve point. To do that, I'm going to come over here to this edit pattern tool, click on it, hover the mouse to the right to this edit pattern tool, click on it to select. Then I'm going to mark key, select these points. Then right click and this function pop up and I'm going to select convert to curve point. Okay. Then I'm going to come over here to this notch tool, click on it. So after that, I'm going to come over here and then hover the mouse to that line that I'm going to place the notches and I'm going to right click. So the first notch is going to be six centimeter. Then I'm going to click on OK to confirm. Then the second notch is going to be eight centimeter. I'm going to once again type in eight centimeter and then click on OK to confirm. So now we just place two notches onto the back bodice, okay? Next, we're going to come over here to the front bodice. So right here, we don't have any point. So we're gonna just place a notch. Just again, hover the mouse over to that line and then right click and then type in six centimeter. And then I'm going to come down here, click on OK. Let me uh, switch to different tools so it's easier for us to see right here. So I'm going to come over to the transform pattern tool, click on it. And now look, as you can see, we have two notches for the back side seam right here for the sleeve. Front sleeve, we have one notch and back body, we have two notches. And front pattern, we have one notch. So this allows us to sew together more easily when you sew this pattern together, okay? So next I'm going to place one, you see right here based on our pattern here, it has this folding line. We also need to place a internal line onto the center so we can have that as a folding line, okay? To do that, I'm going to come over here to this internal polygon slash line tool, click on it and then hover the mouse to the right and then click on one to select. Then I'm going to just hover the mouse to the point right there, click one to place the point, then click on twice to end. Next, I'm going to turn this internal line to baseline. To do that, I'm going to come over here to this transform pattern tool, click on it and then hover the mouse over to that line and then right click. And then I want to convert that to baseline. Okay, so as you can see, we just finished creating the notches for a pattern, as well as turn internal line to the baseline so make a pattern look prettier. And next, I'm going to show you how to unfold these pattern pieces, okay? So next, I'm going to unfold these pattern pieces, okay? So I'm going to first click on it and then drag it to the right just a little bit. I will do the same right here with the back pattern. Then I'm going to come over here to this edit pattern tool, click on it. Then just right here, click one on that center line and then right click. And I'm going to select unfold. Just like that guys, super, super awesome. Okay, next I'm going to do the same right here. By the way guys, this, this unfold pattern function is quite tricky. You have to be on the same tool, okay? So let's say I'm on the transform pattern tool, right? Then I'm going to come over here and click on it and then right click and you don't see unfold function anywhere. So if that happened, just click one on the page to get out and then come back over here to this edit pattern tool, hover the mouse to the right, then click on this edit pattern tool to select and then come back over here and you click one on that center line and then right click and then come down here to unfold. 
Okay, so I'm going to zoom in and as you can see, we have this perfect pattern unfold. So next, I'm going to show you the next function. This function, we are going to make a copy of this sleeve, okay? But instead of making copy, you want to create a copy which is a called symmetric with sewing. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So while this transform pattern tool is active, I'm going to just click one on that sleeve, okay? Then right click. Then come over here, you see under symmetric pattern with sewing, click on it. Then you just make this perfect copy of this sleeve. I'm going to press down shift and then left click to place that pattern. Okay, so what does this symmetric pattern with sewing do is that anytime you sew with the side of the pattern, you also sew on this side. You only have to sew one side of the sleeve. And I'm going to move these pattern pieces over here. So this is for the front right there. And that is for a sleeve. So next, I'm going to save this pattern, okay? To save it, once again, guys, Command or Control plus letter S to save this pattern. Then next, this is important, okay? So we just saved this project, right? Next, I'm going to show you how to save this project once again, but instead of save to that same men raglan pattern, we want to save it a finished project, okay? This allow us to delete some of the pieces that we don't want, all those good stuff. However, we also want these, you know, as a backup for us later. We want all these files. Let's say we want to go back and take a look or whatever we're doing. I always like to have a backup, backup file, okay? Next, I'm going to come over here to file and then select save as okay so this one you have to select save as projects okay and then i'm going to name it done underscore min raglan all right min raglan pattern okay then min raglan shirt is perfect folder and then you come down here, click on save. Okay, so as you can see right here, we just updated to a folder. So right now we have done men raglan and then men raglan. Okay. Thanks so much for watching this and so there is more information under this video. Bye!